Welcome to another episode of Oh In this episode, we're going to be testing to see if we can run the land of Australia. Can Diana use the operating system? And even if it's in English, can we run the land of Australia? Dobro jutro. <laughs> no, we haven't gone Bulgarian, but um, Dobro jutro was easy for me because my mother was Croatian and Jagovari malo ja razumim puno. But um, anyway, let's get on with this. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what you're just saying, but I'm surrounded by unknowingness and I'm sure you will be too once you get into this operating system. So what you're going to try and do is you're going to try and do all the normal tasks you do and it's not in English. Can an operating system these days, obviously back in the command line days, you would not be able to type Bulgarian into a command prompt no. with all this command prompt text, but at least this way you can see visually stuff going on. Is these visuals in this operating system, USU Linux 8.3 from 2013, the original version being back in 2008, will you be able to actually do all the tasks? Let's find out. This will be interesting. This is the first operating system I have tried that is not in English. Now, can you tell me what time it is? Well, that's easy enough. At least the 2.21 is in English. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> I don't yeah, think numbers I think, change. Yeah, numbers are pretty universal. I remember uh, a math teacher back in high school saying, math is all the same across the entire world, hopefully. Uh, so your next... What's with Roman numerals then? Those are ancient times, oh, okay. old number systems. So now can you write, save, open and delete a text file? Mm -hmm. So where do you think you'd go? Well, I'm assuming that might be a little menu thing. Yeah. I can't read any of that, so I'm just going <laughs> to... Okay, well, that says Windows. I can read that. Try to avoid... Mm -hmm. Every now and then, you'll see some words in English, especially when you start, like, what these words here are saying, just so you know, they're categories. Mm -hmm. But you're trying to guess what these categories are. I know I'm trying to guess that, and I'm looking from the for icons. something. Like, for example, what do you think that category is? Which one? That one. That second internet one. Internet to me. So because that's internet. It's got the... Now try not oh, to. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, 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 look! I found it there. I know, but oh, what it's box. actually got? It's got the names because these names, these programs are actually in English. Look, for example, the word Firefox. Yeah, yeah. You see the word Firefox in English after. Yeah. What that is saying next to Firefox is, if you read it, it says web browser. Then it has Firefox. Okay. okay, so it's got the actual function of the program followed by its name, but try not to read the names. Just look at the icons, really. Well, nothing that... That looks like you're going to do gardening. It just looks like a little spat, spade thing or spatula thing. Well, I'm not going to do gardening. Um, nothing here to me. That looks like binoculars. You're going to spy on somebody or something like that? When I see that personally, I get the idea that you're going to search for something. Oh, I get the idea you're going to spy on someone. <laughs> um, this is really difficult. That looks like a dropper, as if you're about to take medicine. <laughs> I don't think this... Uh, what's that? That's the search to me. Look. Patch. And fatch. <laughs> fatch. There's... Oh, camera. That's taking pictures. Snapshot, it says. Snapshot is actually, um, I think it's a taking photos of your desktop. So, say if you mm -hmm. wanted to print screen kind of thing. Do you know what? Even though it's got symbols here, the symbols are not... Oh, wait a sec. Is that a pencil? Scribus. Scribus. Scribble. Maybe. I'm going to go into that. Ah, well, it is an old sort of pencil thing. Um, single pad... No, single pad will do. We don't are you need noticing folding. it in English? Yeah, actually, yes. Although, except for orientation. New orientation, document. blah, blah, blah. New document, that's good. So okay, tell me, do okay. the Bulgarians have English in there? Well, I've noticed in some languages, when they're using the operating systems and stuff, like if you look at YouTube video of other people doing YouTube videos, mm. not in English, you'll see that sometimes there's an English word here and there. Okay, I like but English it, words here and there. Yeah, but it, <laughs> but it potentially is, like for example, I know that if you're watching in Germany, someone doing a Minecraft, let's say, they'll yeah. go, you know, uh, ich habe been a Deutsch Minecraft. Minecraft, and then like okay. you, you, they've got the certain words that stay in English, kind of thing. Okay, well, let's have a look. I want a single page, I want a new document. Now, I want to open this, but 
I don't care about all these points and stuff here and how what size things are. I just want to open. That's open document. Yes, come on. Open, open, open. There's an OK there. Yeah, but I've already clicked on it. It yeah, should so know. Yeah, so this is almost like settings and then oh, OK. Okay. Well, it looks... Well, I want to make it bigger. So okay, I so you understood that. Yeah, that yeah. made sense. What is this? It's trying to graph you on the... <laughs> okay. I oh no. there's a hand there but I'm clicking on the page. I think this is more of a graphical like imagery program where you make something else like. But you can't even and, make anything. <laughs> insert text frame and stuff like that. So try and look for an actual Word document program. Okay, well that looked like Word, but it's not. Like just look through all these. Can I things. just paint? That looks like paint to me. No, you can't here. paint. Or maybe there's a Word. You in have to it. make an actual Word document. Oh, there's nothing there. That's playing cards. What's this one? Oh, that looks like just a knife set there, a little knife. <laughs> nice. One of those Swiss knife things. Um, oh, I found calculator, so I'll know where that is for the thing. So obviously, if calculator's in here, this is probably accessories, because calculator yeah, is typically yeah. in accessories. That's and those are obviously related. web stuff. That's, that's multimedia, I'm guessing. That's settings, I think. Oh, wait a sec. I see, I saw a pencil. Oh, that looks like nighttime setting. So when it's nighttime, you set your computer to that. <laughs> that's actually Celestia. It was an actual. It's a good application for like looking at space. Uh, so that's actually touch. Look paint. at that. It looks like a pencil, and yet paint, paint. That's very misleading. Okay, forget about that. Oh, look. But that's that's what, what I just went to. What? This thing. Okay, no, it's no. You didn't go didn't to that. I? But that's not. That's you're very close. Let me say it's on this page. <gasps> Oh, LibreOffice Writer. Oh, yep. I can read that. So and it, it was blue. It had a little blue symbol. Okay, fine. That makes a lot of sense. <laughs> what I am write? typing not in Bulgarian and that's what it's come up with. Try it. Do I did. I just words. did. I am typing not in Bulgarian. <laughs> and it's in Bulgarian. And it's converted it to Bulgarian. <laughs> Keep typing more. Wait, do, do another sentence. Oh, this Wait. is weird. So go. I am look, doing look at it. And look as you're typing. Sentence. As you're typing, look, each letter you do is turning out differently. Yeah, right. And watch this. This is an interesting one. If you go right now into Translate. No, 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 no. Into 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 the interpret. internet. Interpret. Shh. Into the That look internet. like interpret. Watch this. Windows eight. And do you know what actually comes up? Windows 8. Oh, so it'll translate that then as as the proper stuff, even though I was you writing... You can copy and paste this, let's see. But the thing is, I don't think it's 100% accurate. It's really, you're just doing the keys on a Bulgarian, like that didn't come up with anything. No. It's not 100, because these keys, like for example, the exact A in Bulgarian isn't going to be the exact A in English. It only works for certain things like Windows 8. Like if I try and type now dog, it might not work. Dog. It's really just setting the keyboard layout, swapping it. I mean, that doesn't look like dog to you, does it? But it's come up with something. Anyway, that here allows you to change it from a Bulgarian keyboard to an English keyboard. Okay. So you can actually type in English. Anyway, do you want to save that now? Well, not really. It doesn't make any sense. Well, now how do you save do it? Do the save thing. I'm assuming... So you've just clicked... I've just clicked icon. that thinking there'll be a save as thing, but none of those look to me as, as if they're a save as. I'm just going to guess it's that. So. Where did it go? I wouldn't have a clue. Did you see the Let motion of it going? Yeah, it went somewhere. Oh, maybe it's there. Wait a sec. Do you like that? Oh, That's a little that. taskbar. It's actually Now, there. what do you notice about this operating system? Here you can launch all your programs, and then at the bottom it's got a bar showing you all the th programs you have open programs to launch mm -hmm. all the programs you have open at the bottom now number one that thumbnail is very much like Windows 7 how it shows a thumbnail it's a bit like the Diana perfect operating system mm, except it's not in English <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just gonna get rid of it are you gonna save it I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that's safe so that that's saved and now where are you gonna save it as uh, let's save it in home home because it's yep. the only English word and there. which which is a documents folder apart from this one which I won't yep. save it there public I'll just public I'll stick with the English words public. so it's in home but it's not spelt right look it doesn't matter it's public it's close enough <laughs> it looks like public it's close enough <laughs> 
Paul Bullock. Okay, it's there, and, and I'm what are you assuming saving it as? Say... You just saved it as a weird name. That'll do. Okay, it's now quit this. Weird text. Open it in up like a file browser. So oh quit this God. now. Oh, I just did quit it. No, once it's saved again, just click cancel the save or something. Really? Or maybe you didn't actually save it. Oh well. <laughs> Which one of those looks like save to you, by the way? Um, I don't know. That's print, I think. I'm pretty sure that's open. Really? Looks like a printer paper. Honestly, this one looks more like print to me. Oh here. yeah, that does look more like print. I didn't see that. Plus the fact that it's Control P, which is a printing <gasps> shortcut. Oh, save that yep. one. Okay. So do you think icons these days are good enough? Sometimes. I need to see if that actually saved and if it's still there or not. Maybe the <laughs> bottom one is saved. It's so confusing. Let me to see. You even forget where it's supposed to be. Do you know what I mean? When you see all these different words there. Got ODT, okay. It sort of clouds your mind as to what is there usually. I'm just going to call it goodness. So you get to type in English, but I don't. And I'll save it twice in goodness, saving it over and over, just so we know it's definitely saved. Now, it's okay. called goodness. Try and find it. Okay. Um, so you're trying to look for like a file browser where you can browse all your files. Oh, this, this is just really throwing me all these, all these names. I just. Does anything look like a folder or some file browser? I just want to go back no. into that. Do you need a clue? Yeah, I do. Pretend that this start menu thing doesn't even exist. Okay, and I go into that instead. Oh, remember I saved saved it into home. Home. Let's see if then my one. Then into something like public. Yeah, I did, there. Pulled so back. that's the initial one that I saved. Where? It doesn't appear to be in there anymore. Oh, you're kidding me. So it didn't actually save it. I wonder where it... You can see, like, these look like music videos. I'm guessing that's... Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. It was in documents. But Do you it know wasn't how I knew in public. Yeah, because it, you didn't... You click cancel rather oh, than save. Did I? Yeah. Oh, so okay. basically, the reason I've figured it out is it auto-saves it into the documents folder. Hmm. This one here is documents. The reason I know this is documents is because when you put your cursor over it, a document appears. Oh, okay. See, the other ones that you can see are like music. De that's downloads. That's pictures. Yeah. Do those images, like, tell you what Why it is? Why is it called Dolphin? Dolphin is the name of this program that allows you to view all your files and stuff. Instead okay. of called, being called like Windows File Explorer, but do it's just the called Bulgarian Dolphin. people understand that? Because that's an English word. Yeah, I know. Wouldn't that confuse them? Because the program, it's got the name in Bulgarian and the name in English, which is like the native Dolphin language. So, open it. There we go. Now, how would you delete it? Do you know, this is just really confusing me because even the things that I remember that should be there... This is clouding my memory, so mm. I don't even remember what should be there now because of Well, how do you usually delete something? Say there's a file. What would you do? I'm just confused now. I'm really confused. Clue, right click. You usually right click on a file. Oh, yeah, you do. You right click and then you <laughs> go to delete. Did you right click delete. on the file? Yeah, I did. I right On that file up I, there? Yes, that I one. did. Oh, wait a sec. So click it once. And then, okay, I've right yeah. click it. Well, that's scissors. Maybe that cuts it away. Yeah, but so you don't want to do cut. You want to do delete. What's the thing that looks the most like a delete? Well, if I cut it and then don't paste it anywhere, nah. technically it's deleted. No, if you cut a file, it won't actually do anything with that file till it's pasted somewhere else. Well, then if you don't paste it, it's never pasted. It's deep. De but if you don't gone. paste it, it's never cut in the first place. Well, it is. N no, but it won't actually officially cut. Oh, okay. So look for something that looks like a delete. A red, to me, just red. No. But you burn it up. <laughs> Maybe? Oh, De Del, Del, look, delete. And what is that image? Um, looks like a toilet. A bin. A bin, okay. <laughs> a cycle <laughs> bin. Okay, yes, I'm sure. Or, or did I cancel? Yeah, that was probably cancelled. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. Well, I should have known that because of the fact, okay, yeah. cancel, okay, smaller, yeah. Okay, so yes, I do want to get rid of it. Gone. It's gone. How do you feel? You've just completed a task. So, if you're in a life-threatening situation, you suddenly teleported to Bulgaria. Bulgaria. That language, the country, and then all of a sudden, just all these things are happening and you're in the middle of a war, I don't know, and then you've got to use a computer to quickly send out a help file and print it off. Would you feel you'd be able to do that? The world would just end. <laughs> oh, no. I wouldn't save the world. I'm so sorry. Okay. Can you now calculate 600... Okay. Calculate... I know. I'm going to 
close the. At least it has the X and the yeah. large and the minimised thing is easy. Yeah. That's very intuitive. Yeah. Now, okay, I want to go back to my that calculate. So thing. what was accessories? I forgot now. I the just knives. have to go. You said it looked like a swish knife set. Oh yeah, that thing. Yep. Oh yeah, there it is. Swiss knife set. Okay, oh, there we okay. go. Oh, that looks very. Do you like how, like, math around the world, it's all the same kind of numbers? I do. That makes life a bit easier. <laughs> it's normal. Now they See, just need to do that for... Calculator. Yeah. Now they need to do that for all the languages around the world. Get a bit of each language so the official way to say hello across the whole world could be squatched No. <laughs> and then slowly Don't all languages so. combine. Don't think Okay. So. Now, 655 times 155. Done. Okay. 101525. Great. Now, that was easy, wasn't it? Yeah, calculator was easy. Okay. Because at least the calculator looked like a calculator. Now can you change the desktop background? Okay, I'm going to right click. What to <laughs> me, that to me looks like it's changing the desktop background because it looks like a background with an arrow on it. To me that look. oh which one? That looks like a folder to me and it's mm. labelled Dolphin. Oh, that's turning it off. Mm. I know how to turn it off, <laughs> that's great. Create new, create new background. No, no, that's fine. Oh, look at that. That's how you can create a new document then, from that way. But on the desktop. Oh, nothing's jumping out at me there, you know. I really don't know. So I'll tell you what I would do. Personally, myself, I would go up to this menu and I would look for some kind of settings. Oh, settings is that. Settings, but look, there's two of them. There's oh. this settings and that setting. Why don't they combine them into <laughs> one setting so that like, make it less confusing? It might have like system settings and other settings. That doesn't look to me as if there's any backgroundy stuff look happening. Look what I just there. found. I found a settings panel. Typically you can find a background in a settings kind of panel. It's weird having some words in English. Yeah, every the now rest. and then. I mean, it makes you think that why should they have some words in English? Like in here in Australia, it's not like we have English and then some words in another language. Ah. Ah, oh, you found it. Yes, what did but, you do? but, 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 but. I want the cherries. No. I like cherries. You've got to find it yourself. So oh, when no. you right click, I'll give you a clue. I wasn't clue. even watching. When I clicked right click, something in any of these so actually I worked. To, I have to do it. Okay, I'll try that. No, that's obviously not it. I'm going to try that. No, that doesn't look as if it's doing anything. I'll give you a clue. It well, was... I'm just going to... I'll get it eventually. But I'm I don't want down. you to do something bad. <laughs> <laughs> what if you turn the computer... Eventually you'll turn the computer off, so don't. Well, I'm sure it's... Oh, is it this one? The up... We'll try. Oh, it was. So oh, it was so settings. I would have turned the computer off before so it would have, I got yeah, to it. Yeah, before you got to it. So okay, it was a setting. cherries will do. Now, how do you okay. set it? Yeah, there you go. lovely cherries. I love cherries, my favourite fruit. How did you find that? You found it. <laughs> no, how did, how did you find using this operating system? Oh, um, even though some of the things are in the same place as other operating systems mm. I've tried, seeing the different language words there yeah. just threw me and made me very confused confused and then made me question as to whether a particular thing was what I remembered it in English. It, was, it just threw me. Okay, can you now set the language to English so that the whole operating system's in English? Can you actually do that? Yeah. Can you do that with Windows and other English operating systems? Can you make them Bulgarian or yep. any other? You, you can. Yep. But cool. the thing is, it's typically, especially with Linux distros, mm. they'll try and just kind of develop it for like one main language or something. So if it's not really made for that language, it may mess up and there might be bits of it in Bulgarian okay. and stuff. I understand. So you can change the general operating system, but if a program is installed in Bulgarian, if you've got the Bulgarian Firefox, the language of yeah. the operating system will be English, but the Bulgarian Firefox won't be. Okay, well, okay, I'd assume it would be in settings, okay? Okay, so you just opened the recycle bin, and you know that's a recycle bin. I'll get rid of it now. Okay, so I'm going to go here. I'll Which try settings? the first settings, this one. Let's have a look what's here. In fact, I'll give you a clue, because I know it's going to take a while. It's in that settings. So it's one of these things. You want to change the language. This is like a settings panel for yeah. the operating system. Yeah. Local. Okay, we'll click locale. that if you think it's locale. locale. What does locale mean to you? Double click. It makes it the local language okay. where you are. Okay, now what? Country. Oh, okay. Here we are. Now I've got to find the Australian flag or the American. Same thing, isn't it? Yep. The funny thing is all the countries are in Bulgaria. Yeah, but you can tell by the flag. Yeah, I know. I, I know. Oh, that's the actual Australian flag. There we go. 
<laughs> Why wouldn't that be in English? Did I just cancel it or okay it? Well, you've said you've said that this computer is an Australian computer. You haven't changed the language. See, country. Oh. This is an Australian computer. Now. Well, it should know it's an Australian computer. Preferred languages. What one do you want to be preferred language? That or that? It comes but with both two not kind of, even Australian. Comes with two languages. One is. Oh, this is the list of installed. Oh. I'll just do that one. Okay, now I'll click apply. Is that apply? Yep. Okay. So you just set it to be all Bulgarian. Oh, did I? Yep. So if you go up here, it's still all Bulgarian. Oh. So if you instead set this one as a language. Um, oh, Amer. It's almost American. What do you think that actually says? Just guess before we do it. American language? Okay, we'll click apply now. Okay, click okay. Now, you watch this, get out of this, and any new programs you open will be in English. Oh, yes! Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> That makes me feel, I don't know, I just feel remember, more at ease, feel more comfortable and at home. But remember, not everything has changed. For example, if you open Oh, your, I saw a few things. That one is yeah. not. If you open Firefox, yeah. it's still not in English. See? Because this is the Bulgarian Firefox. Oh, right. You see? But can you search for Australian things on the Bulgarian Firefox? Yeah, sure. Look. Oh, just like we can search for yeah, Bulgarian dog. things. Yeah, dog. You've got a fixation on dog. Well, dog is the most easiest word to type, but look, <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to say, oh, you're not an English person, so it'll go, you know. So let's just look at, remember before you were saying it, that the fire thing, can the fire delete the file? Now, because the folders were made in Bulgarian, the folder names are going to be in Bulgarian. I'm sorry. But let's go to the documents folder now. Mm -hmm. So with that fire, this is what it was actually saying. Create file project with K3B. And if you wanted, you could even make it like pin things up to them um, here and then put Firefox maybe up there. Do you feel like this is the DynaPerfect Good Operating System? It's two bars, one at the top to store all your programs that you want, one at the bottom that shows you all the ones you've got open. No offence, but it's just this being in a different language throws me a lot. I mean, even though if it was all in English, simple, I'd, I'd have to see it all in English, you see, mm. because this is just throwing me so much. Or it's confusing me, even where I mm. remember things should be. Because they're in a different language, it just then confuses me and then I start to question oh is that yeah. such and such yeah no so do you feel we are at the time where the operating system is designed well enough visually to break the language barrier so no. anyone could use it in no, any language no because there's too many operating systems okay. if there was only one operating system and it was the same layout in every single language but just had different you know words well then yes i think if you're so used to it you could but the fact that we have so many different operating systems, no, I don't think so. Just let's say you were a Windows user, I don't know, and just in general, this operating system, do you this think a general person could come up to this feeling. one, it's not in English, and you think you would be able to use it, even if it's after an hour, you'd be able to use to get basically, let's say you wanted to quickly check your emails, I think do you I'd think you'd be able to do out. it? Okay. I think Eventually, with a lot of time, trial, error, that sort of thing, I would eventually work it out. Mm. Um, some of the symbols are quite helpful. Yep. Wouldn't it be good if they just had universal symbols so that you didn't even need to rely on words? Can you now turn off the operating system? Okay. Um, I remember that from before. You go over here and there's the, the yep. symbol to shut turn Shut down off. and which one is shut down? Right there. Done. And is that saying, are you sure, or cancel, or something, or... What do you think? And it's got a cross 21 on seconds, meaning. 19, Yeah, just, just let it do it itself. Whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't know what to press. No, I'm way, just assuming you yep. just let it do it, or you click that, yeah. that yes, you do want it. Because I'm assuming that other thing was saying, are you sure, and that would have cancelled. Look at this. So you did it. We are sorry. Brrr. Okay, dear, closed it unexpectedly. Yeah, but isn't that the normal way you'd close it? Is it always going to come up with that? Error. Yeah. It may be just because it's a live USB or because you've set it to English, it's getting all confused and doesn't know how to shut down anymore. Mm. Anyway, what are you going to do? Are you going to report the bug or close? I'm not going to report it. I'm just going to close it. Okay. Now what are you going to do? I'm going to just okay. Congratulations. Good. I did it. So how do you say goodbye in Bulgarian? Well, if it's the same as Croatian, you say Borg, which is God, almost like God be with you type thing. Croatian and Bulgarian are a little similar 
in that Dobro Jutro, which is Croatian good morning, is the same as Bulgarian good morning. Yeah, my mother was Croatian. She came, she was born in Dubrovnik. She lived most of her life in Split. And she came to Australia back in the 60s um, to help her brother start a business here. And that's when she met my father and got married and years later had me. And my father's fully Australian. He goes way back. Um, and yeah, that's just a little bit of family history there. Goodbye.